1111, welcome back. After a pretty stormy afternoon and evening, we are still dealing with rain across the area. Meteorologist Andrew Kozak here. It was pretty busy. We had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings in addition to the large severe thunderstorm watch. But now at the current time, Ah, nice collective sigh of relief. Yes, it's not the nicest night out there. We're getting rain. But here's the good news for you allergy sufferers. It is pretty nice to get a little bit of a soaking rain continuing across the area, washing all the pollens and allergens and dirt, really, frankly, out of the air, helping us to have a much nicer Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday and beyond ahead. So well, we still have rain coming in from the south. All of the severe weather chances are now completely null, zero. They're done. That line of storms off the Jersey Shore, it gave some severe weather to areas like northern parts of the Jersey Shore over towards Staten Island, Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan. But now we're looking pretty good with just a couple of areas of some moderate downpours this evening into the overnight. Now, what this means for us is not only you'll need the umbrella, but you're also going to need a jacket, a sweater, because all of the cooler air behind the cold front that's getting in right now is also going to be helped by that rain-cooled air, and that means that we're going to be looking at a breezy and somewhat chilly overnight. Now, these are the wind gusts we had some during the storms today. In between some of these uh, numbers, we may have had some gusts a little bit more than that. Most areas that saw the severe thunderstorms had wind gusts between 50 and 55 miles per hour. However, we did have some wind gusts earlier in Reading around 52, Allentown 51, and now we're obviously seeing that wind die down a bit. Temperatures around 59 degrees in Philadelphia, 59 Wilmington, 60 in Millville. We're looking at temperatures in the lower 50s over toward Mount Pocono, 58 in Redding. All of us tonight, as we clear out into the early part of the morning, we'll see those temperatures drop quite a bit. So here's our future cast. As of the current time, the lines of showers and thunderstorms moving off the coast, lingering showers for us. We approach midnight, and we're still going to be looking at those showers. We might even have a couple of moderate downpours. When it all comes to an end, though, at about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, that's when we'll start to really feel the cool air. In fact, by about 6 to 9 o'clock, we'll see those temperatures bounce from the lower 50s to the middle and upper 50s. And then with some help from sunshine, we'll be back in the mid and upper 60s throughout the day on Sunday. A far cry from the nearly 80 degree temperatures that we saw. But hey, it's still going to be a very nice Sunday ahead. So we'll make it up to 68 degrees throughout the day. Nicer skies. There could be a few more clouds toward the afternoon coming in with a weak post frontal wind shift line, a little trough. That could give us even a sprinkle to the north. But overall, what we're going to see for Sunday is calmer, quieter, and cooler conditions. Here's your seven day forecast. So 68 Sunday. Monday, as we start off the new week, bright skies at 62. Tuesday, 60 degrees, mostly sunny. Now, as you can tell, we're much cooler. Average high this time of year, about 68. So we're we're going to be a much cooler start to the week. 64 on Wednesday, a few more clouds Wednesday night, and then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, that would be our next chance of rain. But with temperatures only in the low and middle 60s, we just don't have the ripe development for any type of severe weather. So we are not expecting severe weather with the next storm system coming in. Just a couple of showers by the end of next week and into the weekend. But again, if you had the shorts and the t-shirts out the last couple of days, shelve them for now because it will be a much cooler seven days ahead. Aziza? All right. Thank you, Andrew.